guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about something that I always use. We are going to be talking to you about the Einstein Ultimate Science Kit. So this is something that we've had at home for around three to four months now. We have been using it extensively and we're going to be showing you an unboxing. We're going to be showing you some of the experiments that yeah. we've done. And we're also going to be giving you a few points that we've loved about it, few points that we've not so liked about it. So stay tuned till the end. So if you haven't seen me before, my name is Divya. And my name is Shiv. And on my channel, I have a lot of stuff which I generally engage with in my day-to-day -day lives. Things that I'm passionate about. There's about hair, there's about DIYs, the ways I spend time with this little one. So there's a lot of stuff on my channel. If this resonates with you, if you love this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video. So the Einstein Science Kit basically claims that it is a fun way to introduce science to kids through practical science experiments. They claim that there is a scientist in each child and this kit is going to help your child develop a love for science. So is it true? Let's head to the video. So let's start with the unboxing and this is how this ultimate science kit comes in it comes in a nice uh, durable uh, cardboard box it survived a last few months in my house so i think that's pretty good there is a worksheet which you can use before starting so that you can minimize the you know a wreckage but it still does not completely you know foolproof it but still a good uh, you know option and this is the booklet with all the experiments. The experiments are explained in detail with the instructions, the result, the concept. It even tells you how much time each experiment is going to take and what are the materials that you require. So all that is given in detail in this booklet. And the materials as such, there is glue, vinegar, food grade color, food grade chemicals, uh, some fragrances, crystal powder, baking powder, citric acid, um, cornstarch, a few beakers, some test tubes. So all the little material that you require to complete your experiment. And moving on to the experiment. Uh, so this is a very simple uh, water fireworks experiment that was listed in the book. So it was basically like, you know, just dropping in a few drops of color in oil. And again, oil was not provided in the box. This is something that, you know, you had to take extra from the house. And uh, so you just go ahead and drop a few drops of color into the oil and then stir it uh, with the stirrer provided within the box. And then pour this mixture into your water beaker. And you just give it a couple of seconds and you should be able to see this beautiful fireworks happening in the water. So the color kind of settles at the bottom of the uh, you know oil layer and it slowly starts bursting into the water. So simple, simple experiments like this which are really great and easy for your child to perform. So now that you've had a closer look at this box, now let me run you through some of the pros and some of the cons that we felt while using this box over the past few months. Let's start with the pros. Of course, this is a fun, engaging and super thrilling way to introduce science to kids. It will get them curious. It will get them asking a lot of questions. So definitely, I think the box sticks to its claim. It definitely does ignite the scientist in the child. And basically, uh, the idea that every child is a scientist, I think, is very apt for children because children are just born curious, right? If you just let them explore science, not in a very academic way, just for the fun of, you know, the science experiment, just for the fun of doing and playing and experimenting, definitely this is something that your child will be naturally drawn towards. So a big thumbs up for that. Another great point is it is suitable for a wide age range. Apart from the really uh, tiny tots like below the age three, this is not suitable because it does have a few chemicals and you know materials which are not suitable for the smaller kids. But above the age of say, I would think it's more suitable for the from the age of say five and above or four and above and just depending on the age you may they may resonate towards different experiments 
but definitely there is something for the bigger kids at least up to the age of 10. The quality of the materials provided in the box is definitely of a good quality. I did not find anything very flimsy or the material or even the quantity of the products provided. They were all apt for the experiments. And for the price uh, that I got it, I got it for rupees 6.99 on Amazon. I have the link on my description box. Uh, and to be able to provide a set of 40 experiments, uh, I think this was a great price. And for the duration that we've actually used it, I think it's a great price to pay and it's something great that you can get for the kids during the summer vacations to keep them busy. So this is definitely a good buy. Now coming to the cons, uh, the first one being, you know, there is always some amount of parental guidance required. The amount depends on the age of the child. So for my five-year-old, I had to be full-time present while he was doing the experiments. I had to help him with the measurements and just getting, you know, the chemicals out and the stirring. And, you know, he just needed an extra hand. But if your kids are bigger, possibly you don't need to be engaged as much. But some amount of parental guidance is required. Also, if you want to kind of, you know, nudge your child to kind of, you know, question him, ask him like, you know, what you do, you know, what, why that's happening. Or, you know, just introduce those concepts while they are kind of doing the experiment. That is something that you can do as well. Another thing that I noticed was, even though it does mention 40 experiments, some of the experiments required additional material from the house, like say tea light candles, onions, apple, potato, flour. So there were some experiments which required extra uh, items. So even though they do claim 40 experiments and they do explain the 40 experiments in the booklet, the materials provided in the box do not cater to all your 40 experiments. So this is just a point to note, but it does cover a good set of experiments that you can do just using the items in the box. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun playing this kit. If you like this video, do give it a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. And if you'd like to see more such videos, do subscribe to my channel. Yeah. I'll see you again next week with a new video. Until then, take care. It's me, Divi and Shivi. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel.